welcome guys to a brand new video on solo leveling arise so i wanted to talk about a particular ssr character in the game because i think the character is extremely good but i'm a little bit skeptical on how good that unit will remain moving forward in the game because i think this unit has a really good ability but in general doesn't really do it that well so that character is actually funny enough this guy min byung gu so i want to talk about him because when people talk about this character, people say re-rolling, everyone always says re-roll for him because he's the only SSR healer in the game. But there is one issue I have with him, which is that his heals are not really that good. Now, the only time that you're going to see his heal become actually really good, so when he's using this ability, is when he's in disguise. Because the recovery rate is increased by 100%. Because normally it's 0.5%. 58% which is honestly abysmal so to be able to you know be able to heal really really well with this character you want to have disguised on so to get disguised uh, when tagging in or using divine punishment applies the disguise effect for 10 seconds so tagging in means you're you're being switched in like a QTE right um, or using divine punishment divine punishment is divine punishment what the heck is divine punishment it's qte so it's qte when you use this qte and then you use this next apparently the healing is meant to be increased by 100 percent honestly though i don't find his healing to be great literally i the main issue i have with him is that even though he's meant to be a healer he doesn't heal that good and i feel like he is going to be a character that could possibly be easily power crept in the future if we get a decent healer so before I carry on, don't forget to like and subscribe, stay tuned for more content on solo leveling arise. If you guys don't want to miss out on future content on the game, make sure you are subscribed and make sure that post notification is on. If you guys enjoyed this video, then go ahead and click the like button and let me know down in the comment section if you agree with what I'm saying about this character or you disagree. Because I think a lot of people say yes, get him because he's the best healer. Well, he's the only healer right now. Just like how we like Genshin Impact, a lot of people will say Kachin or the Kiki, whatever her name is, the Frost Healer girl that, like, that was out from day one. Everyone was saying she was meta and then instantly went dog shit. I feel like we're going to have not really the same situation because he does have other abilities besides the healing. But I feel like in terms of the healing role, he is a character that could easily be power crept because his healing is not that great. So why would you actually use him? So I actually use him because the artifacts that I built him with actually supports the team. So this destroyer set allows us to increase the power acquisition rate by 20%, which is fantastic. But also this... this um, this artifact over here actually increases the attack of the old team by 28%. This is extremely useful if you are using other characters that scales off attack. So in general, I think the artifact actually helps him a lot because he has great supportive ability with just the artifact alone. Now, when it comes to the rest of the kit, he's a light damage, well, not light damage dealer, sorry. He's just a light unit, so he does light elemental damage. His damage isn't that great. You really want him to go into disguise. So when disguised, the user's damage is increased by 50%, but honestly, does it doesn't matter. His damage is still gonna be absolutely doo-doo. Let's forget about that. But this part, over here where it says uh using the skill the entire team is recovering the hp by 0.58 percent this is at level four and i find this to be absolutely minuscule it's not something that's like amazing it does help out a lot sometimes in terms of like when you're about to die just but using the skill twice can actually help you guys but it's not like you get your hp all the way to 50 percent i will showcase this guy so this ability could be improved on next up over here basically okay like I said, the healing aspect of him, of him isn't really the best. But if you take a look at the rest of the stuff he does, which he actually decreases the enemy's damage taken, um, increases the da enemy's damage taken by 5%. However, if in disguise, it's increased by 15%. So how you want to use this character is essentially you want to tag him in or use Divine Punishment. So you tag him in, basically you use your QTE, you quickly spam his healing if you desperately need it first, um, because you will get that 100% rate. Uh, but honestly doesn't really become that useful so tagging in for how many seconds 10 seconds so quickly use this skill followed by using the skill as well which basically will apply this debuff to the enemy which will be absolutely amazing because when in disguise the punishment effect is increased to 15 percent and this is for 20 seconds so this is actually very very useful for that aspect i just would have really really loved it if this character's healing was great 
because um, our ability he has are actually quite decent. Next up, we have his uh, support skill, which obviously applies the the uh, damage taken stuff. Plus, um, what's it called? Plus, able to recover as well. So honestly, the recovering part is the second part of him. The rest of the stuff that actually helps you guys is the fact that he actually actually increases damage taken. And then with his QTE, nothing much from this except recovers users' power gauge by 5%. But honestly, the way you're going to build him, you're going to be recovering really, really fast, honestly. Um, you will be able to ult really, really, really frequently with this character, especially with the destroyer sets as well. So with this one over, over here, increases the crit rate by 12%. Now, I'm a little bit confused on the crit damage one because it says users' crit damage is increased um, equal to 40% of amount that exceeds being beyond basic crit hit damage it's a little bit confusing to understand what this actually means um but does that mean you have to focus on crit crit rate crit hit damage with him as well i'm not sure but he is not a huge well i wouldn't say in your team is there for the heals he's really there for that debuff he applies to the enemy plus the other stuff which is the heal i guess but also the artifacts that you're building with him will come in very very handy with your team so i want to show you guys the heals first of all so if i'm going into so reset happened well i just logged in for the first time today so let's go ahead and show you what i mean so first of all let's actually claim this perfect okay let's go back in okay let's go into um s rank dungeon this is 20 so it's a lot more difficult so we got the okay so perfect he's also the recommended attribute um if i use this chick is she okay i might use ml actually no i want the shield i want the shield so this is usually perfect to run it like this okay got the weapons perfect uh got the shades i think so i will go in with this okay so i want to show you guys the healing effect of this guy because it's not as insane as i would have liked it so he's really not there as that oh the heals he, he, the heal is not primary it's it's secondary it is important sometimes when you're just about to die that little heal will actually help but it's not like it's always helping you guys so i'm going to take a bunch of damage right now so there we go and then now i'm going to spawn min Byung, and the heals is like this it's a little tick it's ticking but it's not great honestly so because at the end of the day, you're going to take way more damage than you can heal off. So there we go. We stopped right there. So it's not really good heals. I'm not going to lie. Now, obviously, if you build him with HP set, his healing will be increased. But the HP set is only like 8% increase to your HP. So it's not really like a huge amount. So that's why I actually think shielders in general might be a lot better. Um, but obviously, right now, we don't really have that many, you know, great shielders. So look, I'm healing, but I take more damage. Now, obviously, someone's going to say just dodge out the way then. Which is true, but sometimes you just need that fast heal, but he just doesn't help that much. There we go. So, I'm going to do this. So, sometimes I actually benefit a lot more from the shields than the heals he has. So, that's why sometimes when I'm using him, I like using a shielder with him as well. Because if I'm not getting off that good heals, well, it's fine. I get a healer to help me out anyways. So, there we go. So, we heal off a bit. But obviously, since he's the only healer right now, he will make do. You you would use him. But I feel like it's going to be kind of easy to power creep him. All we need is a healer that does other supportive role and it should be good. So I'm a little bit skeptical on how good this character will remain throughout the game. But at the end of the day, right now, since the only healer, I guess he will do. So um, there we go. But yeah, okay, so I'm going to have to do when this guy heals man get lost okay so like i said the shield comes in handy if you can't do well with the heals that's fine oh i lost okay yeah that sucks okay we're gonna try this again sorry i lost because i i actually forgot there was a time limit i was taking my time with it let's do this again properly okay i'm gonna skip that now obviously i'm not trying to disrespect me and beyond if people are gonna say that I hate the unit. I don't hate the unit. I'm just slightly disappointed with his heals. His heals are secondary, guys. Um, so use this. We get the shield off. Like I said, shield comes in handy. I think Min Byung and honestly the the shield character work really well together, especially when you focus on like making sure you can survive. There we go. There we go. You use this next. 
so yeah we've got a little bit of heals going on right now perfect there we go so yeah we do take more damage than we can actually heal off now of course the enemies is also important to take a look at okay so we have one minute to do this so i'm probably going to summon my shadows just to deal with this nonsense because he does kind of heal for no reason let's go get the shield off perfect and we're gonna freeze his ass we have 50 something seconds there we go we need to focus on him because literally he's gonna keep healing okay this pisses me off bro why I think I need a fire character actually to stop his heals. Oh, you just use this. There we go. He's dead. Perfect. 30 seconds. Damn, that was not that easy. Not that easy. Okay, so this boss's course is not going to be easy as well. Um, you do need to break him. But what I was talking about is just like the heals from him. Generally, not that good. Now he's not going to be in disguise because he's just in the field. So. We're just gonna have little ticks of healing from him but at the end of the day he does debuff the enemy but there is other units that kind of debuff but it also has like damage that we can use okay there we go okay let's see the teammates heals right now yeah it's just little ticks it's just little ticks it's not going to save you at the end of the day. It's only at, for, for tight situations where you find it like insanely helpful. Okay. There we go. But like I mentioned, I think the main reason why people talk about him right now is because he's the, literally the only healer right now. So it's easy to talk about him. But he's not really the guy I'll call a healer. Okay. I'm going to have to dash somewhere. There we go. Okay, but uh, we don't have that long to deal with this actually, do we? Okay. Okay, did we do this next? I don't think we're going to be able to beat this since this is a little bit trickier and I'm not using my fire characters. But then again, light units are rated up or not rated up, but boosted in this. So hopefully they're able to perform. Okay, we got the shadows coming in. There we go. Okay, we should be able to do this actually. There we go. Perfect. So Emin Jong is dead, see? Like the heals he has isn't really the greatest, bro. So I'm a little bit disappointed with the unit, honestly. I think we do talk about him, but it's something we need to pay attention to. Like he's gonna be a character that I think can be easy power crept. Now, obviously, if you use uh, light units, he might be the character to go for. And obviously, dupes are going to make him insanely good. But at face value, I really don't like the unit. Um, I just sometimes feel like his healing just isn't as good as it should be. And that's my uh, main issue with him. Okay, so I do think he's a good character right now. But I'm literally just worried about the longevity of this unit. Because the heals he has isn't that useful. But it does have the ability to decrease or increase the amount the enemy uh, the amount of damage the enemy is taking which is useful especially when it's 20 seconds duration very very useful pair that up with the artifacts makes him a really good support character but sometimes you only want him for the heals but he just doesn't help you guys out so if we take a look at the dupe him since his healing scales off his hp i guess the second one would be okay it's not actually no it's not it's just basic stat increase no one cares about that the first dupe, which all uh, team members crit rates increased by 8%. For light units, it's going to be 12%. So honestly, he's more of a buffer than a healer. Um, so when light beamer is used, the entire team instantly recovers HP equal to 2%. Okay, so this is where it's going to be very useful, actually. So three dupes in will make this character a lot better at healing. So light beamer, which one is that one? This one. So 2% instead of 0.58%, or is it an additional 0.2%? Whatever it is, it's going to be very helpful in terms of his healing. So, let's see. Is there any more ways to increase his healing? 
four dupes, increased power acquisition rate by 10%. When a user uses heavily blessing, increases the damage of the next ultimate skill of the team member. Okay, so he's a character that scales off like dupe, um, honestly. Because at face value, yes, he will still use him. But yes, he's a great character right now. But in the future, he might just get easy like swept out of your team um obviously for light teams if you have the first dupe it's going to be extremely amazing and also the ultimate helps with the crit rate and crit damage but it's only for 12 seconds so there's only much you can do for 12 seconds um so honestly yeah i'm trying to predict how good this character will be later on uh when newer characters get released but if i if i remember the um banner release schedule it should be one character every single month so maybe he will still be very useful for a long time until they release a new support character that just is better than him but i'm not trying to shit on him obviously i think he is a good character i'm just a little bit disappointed with his heels literally that's all it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out